this would be me spending like all my money. But maybe it's worth it. Okay. So somebody hopefully will wear that stuff. I mean, if you're complaining about nudity, put on the flak pants. Pick this stuff up. Go get it. Alright, did you get some pants, dude? No, nah, he still didn't have pants. You could put on pants. I guess I can force him to wear stuff. Hopefully he'll figure it out that he can just wear clothing. I know you can, like, assign outfits. Yeah, I don't think so, hot dog. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to give him soldier. And then bear... Oh, transport pod crash. Where's that? Oh, is it this guy? Space refugee, Victor Stewkeeper. All right, well, yeah, go ahead. Rescue him. See if we can get him. We need all the help we can get, Victor. Okay. Now, I don't know why... Why did your path choose to take you outside the base like that? It is your lucky day. Okay, here. I gotta have you draft. And, Lucky, you need to go in this way. They're coming. Yeah, they're coming right away. Okay. So, um... Lucky, come over here. Everybody else, we're in. Get over here. Okay. I'm not ready. Alright, so Stanton, you go up here. Where's the minigun? Brexio? Did you drop your minigun somewhere? Ah, you don't have your gun. Yeah. Get that. All right, um, Lucky, drop Victor. I know, isn't that great? He's like, wow. All right, we got the clips. They're coming. All right. All right, gone. Gone. They're fleeing. All right, great. Somebody rescue this guy.
Um, Brexia, are you getting your gun? You don't have it. Uh, did that person die? Um, equip minigun. Yeah, Victor didn't make it. It was his lucky day, and then we got raided right when I tried to save him. That's too bad. Brexio, what do you... Oh, you're getting your gun. I was like, why are you going through the traps? Please don't get killed by the traps. Okay. All right. That's right. Throw it together. Cooking meals. A hauling a hamster. Morgan, we are not. We eat non-people. I know, Victor. He was like, yes. <laughs> Lucky's on the smoke leaf binge. All right, dude. Now, let me just see how many raw resources we have in terms of, uh... uh... Does it show you chunks of rock? Oh, it doesn't seem to. Morgan, isn't that the truth? You really do have to ask in this game. Oh, they're throwing a party. I wonder what the party is about. Oh, well, it's over. It was a brief party. It was a heck of a party. It was a bash. Brexio, did you get your gun? You did. All right. No, 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 Dennis. Dear God, no. No more mining at any of these drills. There's got to be something else you can do. No, Dennis. Okay, I got to work. Mining is off. Off the table for everyone. We don't need this. Unless, well, you can have it as like four. If I have you go carve out stone or something, yeah. But for now, no, no we're good. Alright. Brexio is having to heal up here. Actually not doing too badly. 55. So the bad back and all, but... Fully healed. Take it. Well, 3.3 days. Getting closer, but it feels ominous. We're just going to keep on keeping on and try to get as much stone for traps as possible. What are you doing? Hauling a tamer to the stockpile. Okay, fine. No, we need stone. Get that. Look at all these traps from my original kill box out here. So funny. Still doing their thing. Can you move it? I guess I could just reinstall it. Unhappy nudity again. Dennis. Good lord, dude. Alright, I'm gonna have to force Dennis to wear pants. I don't understand what his, you know, problem is, but, um...
I know there's pants here. Oh, I can't tell him to do anything anyway because he's on a smoke leaf binge. Well, he's not going to put on his pants while he's doing that. Okay, we're getting raided. Jump. Uh, okay, here they come. Are they coming immediately? First of all, let's just go to schedule. Everybody in the home area only, please. They're coming. All right, people. Get over there. Here they come. Oh, there's a lot of them. Dennis, where are you? Oh, you're on a binge. Ah, brutal. Dennis is on a binge so the animal won't fight. God. Frustrating timing on that. All right, Lucky, go over here. Try to, try to shoot this dude. They're almost all dead. I don't know what this person is doing. They're, like, making a run for over here. Oh, they got killed by this auto turret. Dennis is a menace. Did you see that? I have this one lone auto turret over here just in case anybody comes in on this side and it got him. That's so great. All right, there they go. All right. Get out of here. All right, Nitro's been hit. Cargo pods. Oh, look at this. Oh, wait, these are just dead people. This isn't... Yeah, we're out of graves. <laughs> we're just dumping all the corpses over here. Where's the cargo pod? Um. Oh, no, this is a cargo pod. That's Victor. Oh, I guess it just dropped supplies, but not a person. Just dropped all this steel. I know, isn't that funny? Hot dog, he's like, look, I don't even care. Um, he's like going Winnie the Pooh style, just walking around with his smoke leaf, you know, while people are just firing and there's lives being lost. I can't be bothered. We we see that. We all see that. Um Oh, boy. I mean, the amount of major break risks that I'm getting, like, people are really unhappy. The, we're barely hanging on by a thread here. Nitro, how are you doing? Got some fingers torn off. You got hit by the great bow. You've been patched up. It's a good quality bandage. I hope that was lucky that got you. All right. Can you get done with that smoke leaf binge, dude? Okay, good. He's finally done. And we're getting blue finches on us again. Uh, okay. Yeah, they're annoying because their bows actually provide some range. It's only from them right over here. Are they coming right away? They're going to wait. They are apparently chilling.
They'll be here in a moment. There's a lot of them. A chimpanzee, even. Here they come. Everybody up. Into position, people. Alright, so I need the minigun here. I need Lucky over here. Stanton with that charge rifle up here. And Dennis over there. Here they come. I'm with you, Morgan. That's awesome. I love home-cooked meals myself, but it's the time commitment to buying the ingredients, to cleaning, to preparing, to cooking. It does take so much time. It's brutal. They're out. They came, they saw, they left. All right, right. Get yourself together. I mean, this is just a unmitigated disaster of disease, rotting corpses, treasures. There's like jade all over the place over here for some reason. There's money here. There's drugs. There's weapons. It's just debauchery. Oh, God, Bacon. Exactly. Nitro's going through a tantrum. All right, unsightly environment. Yeah, well, we have an unsightly environment. It's bad. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to let people out. You can all go outside. Fine. If we need to build more graves, we'll build more graves. Whatever. Whatever will calm you people down. There they go. Get them buried. Alright. Oh no, not again. Brexio hit the trap. Unbelievable. It was this trap, too. This was a trap that I just was having her move. Not, like, it's in the corner. I just wanted her to replace it, and she hit it. Oh, boy. That's sad. Rescue. She's like, I'm just recovering from being hit by a trap and nearly killed before. All right, Lucky, get over here. We need your medical care. Do it. Uh-oh. Brexio... Three hours, two hours, three hours. That Glitter World Medicine, doing it. Five hours, back to regular medicine, out of Glitter World. Ten hours. Oh my gosh, yes, Morgan. <laughs> hey, Thanatoaster, what's up, my friend? I know, that's a good one too, right? Or for me, because I'm so bad at cooking, it'll be like I take all this time, I buy the ingredients, I do, I'm doing everything, and then I mess something up. Like I mess up some step, and it doesn't taste good. And then I'm just like, I have to eat it, you know, in shame. All right, so we had an electrical problem, but that's okay. I know, Alex. Animal disease, the flu. Okay, well, the animals are sick. We're going to be... That's just going to have to be something that we deal with. 
We got 1.1 days here. The animals haven't been told yet that there's no escape pods for them. I think what we need to do is just open up the, the gate, you know? Okay, we're getting raided over here. Is there anybody else raiding us? They have spears. Okay, there's some people down in the corner here. Yeah, okay. Are they coming immediately? Okay, everybody stop. Home area only. Stop doing what you're doing. Onisan, get out of here. Get back inside. Okay, yep, stay inside. That makes sense, Bacon. I get it. Oh, man, I was like that, too. It is a panic kind of game, Morgan, because it's like they don't do exactly what you want, and they move so slowly sometimes. You're like, no, no, please. It's like slow motion watching everything unravel before your eyes. It's brutal. All right. We will take the rifle up here. Bear is here, Lucky is in the middle, and Dennis over here. Oh look, they've decided to steal what they can and leave. There's so much good stuff right here, that these people are just like, we don't even need to fight. It's just a treasure trove. This guy's like, I'm gonna fight. He's actually doing quite well. Took a lot of shots. Ooh, that was... Do you see how much pemmican this dude had? This guy had 225 pemmican. He was just like carrying bags full of beef jerky. All right, then. They're coming in. They're not all going to just steal stuff and leave. Just that one guy did that. They're coming for the pemmican. It's a pemmican raid. They're out. They're out. They're leaving the pemmican. This guy's not out. Koala's come. Koala's gone. Okay. Get that pemmican. They're get. They look at that. That's the first thing they got. Just stacks of pemmican. Dennis is going to eat it. He just. Did you see that? Did you see how fast Dennis took pemmican from this dead guy and went into? somebody else's bedroom and ate it like there are so many things that you can say about that if you unpack that i i don't even know what to just you know where to begin but it's amazing <laughs> that's hilarious bacon you're like well um Okay, Bear is hiding in the room. Bear, you better get out of that mood in 20 hours or we're leaving without you. I just want to tell you, um, we're, not, we're not stopping the spaceship because you have a bad mood. Because in your, you're in your feelings today. Like, we are on emergency mode. Look at this. All of those graves... And still bodies everywhere. This is unbelievable. I'm just clicking like randomly. I don't even care. Just put graves down. Dig them up. Oh, okay. After the first day, it did the raid stop? It is hilarious, Morgan. The chaos is what makes the, the game... I mean, it just creates stories. It's so good how many different amazing stories generate from the game. It, the gameplay itself isn't, you know... It's very much like Dwarf Fortress. The combat can be very infuriating... 
but the stories that you build with the people over time are just hilarious. Oh, once the timer ends, the raids end, is what you're saying, Alex? We got eight hours. Brexio, how are you doing? Not great. Okay, better. She can walk now. Alright, I think Bear is no longer shutting themselves up in the room. Oh, look at this. T minus four, three, two, one. Ready. Reactor ready. It is now ready to power a liftoff. All right, so let's get everybody inside. Uh, can you get in there? Cannot use no path. Oh, maybe the, the walls messed it up. Let's see, I, would, somebody has to stay behind, unfortunately, unless we, I guess I can deconstruct the, the walls that are blocking, like, we can just get rid of these, we don't need them, and then they can get into the casket, I don't know where the entryway is. Who's not in? Bear? Here, Bear. Okay, you need to get rid of this door. This is going to take a while. No, do this right now. See if you can get in. Cannot use no path. Can, get in there. We got everybody in. Ready for launch. Is anybody... Stanton is here. Lucky. Wait, Lucky, what are you doing? Get in there. Is there one for you? Get in there. Weaves. Weaves is there. Dennis. Brexio. Bear. Onisan. Lucky. Stanton. Poor trooper has to stay behind. I don't know if you can build caskets for the animals, but... Oh, c trooper, can you get in there? Nah, we have an extra one. Looks like... But Trooper can't get inside. Trooper's going to stay behind and rule this roost. Um, the animals... Well, hopefully the grass keeps growing for them. They might have to bust their way out. I know, Hot Dog. Weaves was an original. Alright, everybody. We're going to do it. We're launching the ship. We did it. Look at that. You've launched a ship. These colonists escape. Bear, Dennis, Weaves, Brexio, Onisan, Stanton, Lucky, and Nitro. Your machine persona will now try to guide the ship to a safe place. It might find a prosperous planet in this system, or it may undertake a centuries-long journey to another star. It might even decide to hide under ice on an asteroid for a few thousand years waiting for someone to build a new glitter world here. You'll find out when you wake up. And here's all the people we had that died in memory of Lou, Eugene, Prissy, Crocodile, Emmy, Biltraxis, White, Strapping, Sienna, Selvi, Pete, and Dorto. Wow. We did it. How about that? Unbelievable. Now, Eel was left behind as well. Yeah, Emmy was so good. 
there's a lot of like when you read some of those names you kind of tear up like Lou was amazing Lou was the first person that we got we rescued her from a slaver very very early on she was very important part of our group man yes Eugene Eugene got killed because I was uh, made some serious mistakes by uh, a defoliator ship, I believe. Man. Listen to this, like, closing song that they got. It's the Rim World. closing credits song yeah Emmy was the leader for sure hey thanks everybody thank you for uh, all of your help I mean I didn't know what was going to happen at the end you were all right like it wasn't as bad as I thought where I was expecting people to like land inside my base with drop pods sappers all over the place robots you know just ridiculous stuff but it didn't end up being that bad it, it, it is exactly that bacon it's like I just kept getting raided by mostly the communities that were around me and only one or two of those groups actually had guns it was just people with like bows and spears so it wasn't really as horrible as it could have been, which is good. Wow, what a ride. I mean, and so what this means is, of course, I could play, you know, at some point do another RimWorld game with some of the DLC play with a different storyteller there's so many options i could actually try mods i mean that was me playing through the entire game on vanilla um with no mods at all so there's a lot to consider with like you know what would be uh the next step but for now i'm so happy that i at least got to launch the ship and that i can't believe we made it i thought for sure i was going to get wiped out um I know, Bacon. I have a friend who, uh, the guy who got me this game for my birthday, he he has a ton of mods, too. He tried to give me some spreadsheet. I was like, whoa. Yeah, Hot Dog, that's awesome, my friend. I'm so glad that um, you were here, too. Yeah, and all of you, th it's so great uh, that so many of you have seen this series or seen me streaming it or just seen the, the Let's Play at some point because it's been going on for so long. But amazingly, it's done. So I'm going to uh, pass out, stayed up past my bedtime, but I had to finish that, and we did it. Everyone, also, the stream worked out fine. So it seems like some of my um, connection issues have resolved, which is amazing. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for uh, helping me get through the end of RimWorld. Alex, you too, my friend. Yes, Bacon. Thank you so much. Hot Dog, Morgan, Bacon, Alex, Red Hat, Onion, Tony, uh, Toaster, everybody out there. Take care. Have a great one.